Hey, science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Rat Academy, and I'm in the forest of Nicene Marks in California, where I'm in a washed out riverbed where there was some flooding recently. And that means there's a lot of rocks that have been exposed that people have never seen before. And I was walking down this riverbed looking for some rocks, and I found this rock right here. And I can tell that it is a sedimentary rock because it looks like it's made out of sediments, but there's something special about these sediments. These sediments are shells. And so from what I know about geology, there's three different kinds of sedimentary rocks. There's clastic sedimentary rocks, which are rocks that are made out of other rocks, rock-like material like clay or sand or silt. And then there is organic rocks that are made out of sediments of things that used to be living. And then there's also chemical rocks, which are made of the precipitates of water, which are little floaties that are in the water. And then when the water evaporates, what's left behind makes a rock. But this one right here, because it has shells inside of it, that means this one is an organic sedimentary rock. There is also this rock right here, and you can see that there are little tiny pebbles inside of it. That means this is a classic sedimentary rock because it's made of rock-like material. Even this one right here, you can see the larger pieces of rocks that have been cemented together naturally. This would be a classic sedimentary rock too. And then there's also this rock right here, and this one, because the sediments look so, so tiny that they could be little floaties, precipitates in the water, this one would be a chemical sedimentary rock. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless, bye-bye.